Hello world! In today's tutorial, we are going to create a Llama Index chat streaming app using the OpenAI model and Next.js graphical user interface with one command in two minutes. Yes, you heard that right. One command, two minutes. I want to clearly state that this is not my project. This is a project built by Marcus. So, shout out to him. But it's so cool that I need to show it to you. I doubt there's a faster and easier way to create a Llama Index chat streaming app using the OpenAI model and Next.js graphical user interface. If you have any plans on building a Llama Index app, I suggest you use this as a starting point. It's far easier to take on an existing project and improve or adjust it to your needs than to start from scratch. Let's look at the code. Run npm create a Llama latest. Type the letter Y and hit enter to proceed with the installation. Type your project name or simply hit enter if you're satisfied with the default name I app. I left this default name. Choose the template you would like to use. You can choose between two options, streaming or a non-streaming backend. I chose the streaming backend, which behaves like ChatGPT. Choose the framework you would like to use. You can choose between three options, Next.js, Express, or Python Fast API. I chose Next.js because this means we will have a full stack Next.js application that you can deploy to a host like Versal in just a few clicks. Choose the UI you would like to use. I chose just HTML. Choose the open AI model you would like to use. I chose the GPT 3.5 Turbo. It's the cheapest of all options and good enough for this simple tutorial. Choose the source of data you would like to use. The chatbot can access different files as a knowledge base. I chose a simple chat without the data. Provide your open AI API key. I just hit enter and skipped this step. My app works anyway because I set my open AI API key as an environment variable. If you didn't set yours as an environment variable, then you need to provide it here. Don't skip this step like I did. I suggest you use slint. The last thing we need to do is choose how we would like to proceed. Choose this option, generate code, install dependencies, and run the app. This should take approximately two minutes. After we hit enter, the command will execute everything automatically. It will make this app streaming type. Use a simple chat engine and HTML as the UI install all dependencies. You can see that there were no vulnerabilities found. Use the GPT 3.5 Turbo model. If this is done successfully, the app will be started in development mode automatically. Open localhost on port 3000. And you should see the app and be able to chat. Kaboom. I mean, seriously, how awesome is that? You can find the link to Marcus's profile and the official GitHub repository directory of this project in the description below. That's it. Thanks for watching. If this tutorial was helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe.